maybe. I don't know if I'm actually early. I'm not sure what time it is. Oh, on the top. Rarely happens. Well, hello. If you're just starting the stream now, make sure that it's fast forwarded to the live bit. Unless you're watching it, you know it's well past the live bit. Then, well, I wish you a good night's sleep. Hello, everyone. Um, we've got some crap in here today. I hope your week has gone well. I was about to sit down and have a, a nice uh, cup of hot water, and then I looked at the clock and it was 9:24, and I thought, oh yeah. The stream's at 9.30 now, so I'm sorry I'm just out here with my my cuppa and the 3D printer doing its thing. One 3D printer finishing. It's just finished a bit. Oh, look, it's some orange. Where's Clive when you need him? Some orange. Now, my hope is that this orange will fit this thing. That's the, the goal. And that the holes will line up. And I think they do. That's pretty good. And so because that fits there, that lets me know that my design for that part is the right shape that I can now print this with a filled in piece and a cutout for the battery for the JAWS build. So that was a, t I'd done one that was pretty close, but prototype two, it's all about the prototyping. Oh, there was a person and now they're gone. <laughs> no dog tonight. Billy is not here billy has chosen to be under the under the heater uh on some on some cushions who can blame him so um do i have new stuff do i have news i do have new stuff where's new stuff um i'll point the camera down now as i did the unboxing in the week uh for those that's one lot of new stuff and i will go i'm gonna go at the other meter one one second I'm just going to go and get the meter that I said I was going to get before. Stuff here again. I'll bring that in too. So progress has been made on JAWS. Uh, may not look like it, but that is progress because it's fitted uh, and holes are tapped and things are screwed in so this is actually in place now nice and solid so that's a positive and the new meter the new meter that i was just saying to um aussie matt today that the new meter has got a torch it's got a cute little torch so when i i don't know if it no it's got to be on and then when i so that's definitely going in the Dalek kit, no doubt. And it's smaller than the, uh, the little one from JCAR. And I think I said tonight I might um, I might try and figure out what's what's wrong with that one. And then the one from work uh, just accidentally came home in my bag as well. So it's a busy old time for meters. Um, coincided with me killing the audience by moving the stream to 9.30, but there you go. That's all right. So I've got some clip leads here. Um, what else is new? Oh, the other new thing from Aussie Matt today was to help me practice my soldering. It's a clock. So I am very, very much looking forward to putting this together with some blue and red LEDs. And it's a USB powered clock. So that looks like fun. I was flying the drone today um, without crashing it this time. Um, can't get the camera to work despite all efforts. Uh, it says in the instructions there's meant to be a micro SD card slot. There's a space where there used to be a micro SD card slot, but no card slot actually there. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on. So now I'm just kind of left with, you know, what else can I do to crack on? So this is a Kirby vacuum cleaner power switch. And I'd like to try and retain this for use in the JAWS vacuum, but I can't, it's riveted together. So it means that it's a bit difficult for me to drill into or take apart because really I would like to have taken this out and had a hole for the antenna 
uh, to pop out of. But because of that rivet there, I don't think I want to try and take it apart. So I'm going to have to think of something different. Um, maybe even just drilling a hole in the side and having the antenna poke up and out through there. But what I need to do is check that these are the two switched connections. Um, and then this one, <laughs> um, it's coming out, which is a bad thing. Like it seems to sort of stay in there if I give it a shove. Um, but obviously we don't want that to come out. It is, um, yeah, that's less than ideal. So I'm going to strip off some of this insulation on this, uh, this, insul this uh, wire stripper. Just move this along and it will strip off more more insulation. So it's pretty uh, decent gauge wire. Oh. So really all I want to do is I'll, I'll just check for continuity. That's probably the easiest thing and check are these two connected when the switch is closed. And if they are, you know, Bob's your father's brother, that means that I've got the ones that I need to have for um, for powering the vacuum. So with any luck, that will hold true, but we'll see. So I'll just connect one up here. And then we'll see if this, if it's a simple sort of switched positive that would be the ideal uh, function well that's a good start let's try i should I don't know if you can hear it but there you go no oh dear they're always connected that's not a good sign hmm okay Now this could be a neutral, so let's just um, so we'll just check. So those two are connected. It might just be that I have to go with this one. That's okay. That will work too. Let's see. Nothing. What about between these two? Or do I have to tie one to another? No. What if, by chance, bugger? So I will need to do more research about what this switch or how this switch operates because I was really hoping this was just a sort of switched positives type thing. Um, I suppose the worst case scenario is that I get one of my switches that I've got somewhere up here, somewhere, is that it? Let's see, is it in there? No, of course it bloody isn't. It'll be somewhere, somewhere up around here. Get a different switch and try and make an adapter by the magic of 3D printing. Well, there's one there. Maybe there's an adapter to be had. Uh, for that. Now, where's the piece of plastic gone? No blooming idea. Oh, it's still on the thing. Ugh. So, this is the housing that it's meant to fit in, but maybe... I don't know. Possibly. 
But I would have ra much rather had that big clicking tactile switch, but there you go. Not going to happen today. Not this time around anyway. That is indeed a shame. But that's all right. I will keep keep learning, keep practicing. So the plan in here, now there's a caster on the bottom that will hopefully take the weight and help it swivel. I might need to space it out a little bit more. It might need to look, come a little bit further out. Give this a clean out. And practicing crimping servo leads because I'm going to need to do that a lot. It's going to be a lot of servo lead crimping. And... So yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Because that needs to go from one to the other. I'm going to need to make some JSTs as well. Hmm. Fun times. Fun times to be had. So that's a bit of a bugger about that switch. Shame, shame, shame. That's okay. One can always stay hopeful and learn. I wonder what happened to this meter. This meter decided not to not to measure anything anymore. Is it crap leads? Maybe the leads, I mean they are pretty pretty thin and nasty. Maybe it's a case of uh, crummy meter leads. Where's my good ones? Here's some good ones. Will these fit? Is it a case of rubbish leads? Let's see. That's something I can measure. Oh, well, it came up with other numbers just then. But here's the uh, resistor from the, other, from the other night. The resistor from the test. It's trying, but it's not really. It comes up with stuff, but. Is it just. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, Matt, you're right. It was a case of shit leads. Um, there you go. Good leads made the meter work again. So, there for the bin. I wonder if I should, um, obviously there's a break somewhere. I wonder if that the wire could get used for something. Or is that just a, a silly idea? I don't know. Yeah. Hello, I've got an attachment. I love Facebook Marketplace. Oh, very nice. It's not a Facebook Marketplace attachment. Well, this video has suddenly gotten very boring because I was hoping the switch was going to take all the time. So, um, why don't I just start practicing some uh, servo leads? Maybe that's the next thing I've got to learn to do. Crimp some cables. Um, one second, I'm just going to go get some wire. Let's go find some servo wire. I would get the servo wire if I can remember where I put it. Maybe I stored it in here. Maybe that's the thing. Aha! The twisted servo wire. There it is. Oh, there we go. Or I could do that. Oh, is there a kit? Should I get? Should I practice crimping servo leads and maybe do something useful? Or should I build a kit? 
I don't want to build the clock because I don't want to ruin it. What's this? This is a... Uh... Oh, well, that looks like a... Some kind of annoying buzzing kit. Servo leads or kit? Hmm. Which to pick, everyone? Which to pick? Both are important. But only one will be entertaining. I don't know. Ooh, I've got stuff on me. Should I fire up the iron and have a go at this kit? Maybe that's a better option. I mean, if you just watch me crimp servo leads, it's just going to be a lot of me getting grumpy and swearing. So, I think I've decided on the kit. Where's my circuit board holder? There it is. There we go. Okay, it's a very small circuit board though, so we can make it really little. And that 470 ohm resistor is not part of it. And I'll need to switch on now. I hope I don't turn off everything because I have to unplug this and switch on the iron. And that could prove to be a big, a big mistake. We'll see. The hacko is heating. Oh, I could try some of my solder, couldn't I? Oh, see, this is turning out to be an even better idea than I first thought. Oh, this needs something to... I have sliced my thumb open today. I was um, scraping the plastic labels off of some brackets, some small angle brackets. And I may have sort of mildly filleted my thumb when I slipped. There we go. Tonight's video, James makes a kit with no one watching. Oh, it's a four, they're all 470 ohm resistors. That's, that's telling. All righty. I've somewhere I've got a lead former as well. Ah! I don't I want that there, but I want this one. There we go. Ooh, nice and... Nice and strong now. I probably want it back just a touch. There you go, but now you can sort of pull the board out. 470s now as a lead former. There we go. The holes. Uh, middle one, I'd say. All right. Let's get the... 470s. Now it looks like they are all 470s. Uh, all those. Oh no, there's some 10Ks. Okay. 470, 470. Oh, and 4.7s. Okay, I am going to actually need to be careful here. So there's a 10K. That, that looks like it might be important. I think that was a piece of the battery holder. It just fell out. Never mind. There's a crystal. Okay, so the crystal goes there. 12 megahertz crystal. All right. Well, that's... Oh, new meter. Let's get the new meter. Let's get the new guy doing it. Hey, okay. What do you think? Let's get the Nubian fella. Get out of the way, you... Okay. Let's get the new guy to help me decide on the thing. Now, they're not resistors. I do know that much. All uh, right, so let's go for Viva La Resistance. All right, they're the 10K. Should I start with the 10K? Should I put the, I'll put the 10k in before I put anything else in, so then I won't stuff it up so badly. Cutters. All right, let's cut one of these off. Do, 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 do. All right. I don't know if I'll get this finished in the stream, because it's, it's probably more soldering than I'm actually capable of. There you go. 
Well, not that I'm not capable. More than I'm capable of in this amount of time. For sure. Uh, so this lead former. Yeah, 3D printed and you just sort of bend them down like that. And then it goes in the hole for the 10K. And that was too small a hole. So it obviously goes in this one. Like this. Ow, my thumb. And now I'm trying to avoid using the saw bit of my thumb. Got it in there. Hey. All the way with Tintini. Okay. Did I say there was only one? There's two. There's two of them on here. So. And then there's some 4.7s and some 470s. There we go. That's a better job. Is that the right spacing? Or is it still too big? It is actually still too big. That's okay. I don't mind that. Right, solder. Do I try? Oh, the one person watching. Hello, one person. Should I try Australian solder? Or I can try super cheap auto solder? Or should I try Vela very, very sick solder? It's very thick, this stuff. I, I'm really kind of interested to try the, um, the stuff that I found at work. It looks quite, it looks a little dirty. Because it's old and been in a cupboard. Hello. Oh, he smokes. He smokes nice. Um, how does the super cheap? Does the super cheap smoke? Let's see. Uh, my iron is set to three hundred and eighty degrees. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Should I try the Weller? Let us try. I think this is probably going to be too thick. I think on the website, on the Bunning site, oh, it's so stiff. On the Bunning site, they had it listed as being one millimeter, but whoa. Well, I suppose if I go really, I'll just have to really sort of touch it, won't I? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the Weller. All right. I'm saving the clock because, uh, well, if you've watched the earlier part of the stream, you'll know why I'm currently making a kit. If you haven't seen it, you don't need to go back now, but just so you're aware. I just have to sort of, just so slightly... Is that bridge? No, it hasn't. That's okay. Look, it's not terrible. I mean, they're not. It's not an awful job. There we go. Two down. No, oh, don't worry about missing the start. I. What happened at the start? I. I had the switch from the Kirby and it turns out this switch is magical and it's not a simple um, switch positive. And I was hoping that at some point these two wires would just be connected, um, but they're just connected all the time, which I'm guessing is a third wire at play. Um, so I will look at alternatives for using this switch until I can do some research. Well, that's okay. But, hey, the other good bit is um, that my, this 3D printed prototype fits onto this bit, which means now I can get onto making the adapter for the battery to go in the bag of the vacuum cleaner, which is good. Um, and, the uh, yeah, other things happening. So that's that's not bad. I don't know what, I don't know how I'll go sort of trying to daintily solder with that, but if I was soldering wires together, that would probably be really good. 
not that I'm ever fancy enough to have different solders for different jobs. I'm going to keep going with the Australian solder because I want to know what it's like. And I've got the new boy, the new boy helping me out with the resistors. All right. Um, let's test it. What are these ones? Are these the... They're the 4.7s, okay? So, beep, beep, beep. let's uh, put on the 4.7s. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six 4.7s. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, oh, they gave me two spares. I can stuff up two of them. And that's it. I have my... My lead former, not my former leader. I should have called it Boris Johnson. Too soon? I know everyone's upset about the Queen dying and whatnot. I do, the only thing I don't get is why they keep changing programs. Every program that's on is, is just about the Queen. Why don't they just, you know have one long program on each channel and they just change the hosts every every once in a while. That would be good. Uh, lead former. Will that fit in there? Does it fit? Oh, just. That's, that's the right uh, spacing, I think, now. Am I going to care about the way around that? No, I'm not. Have I ever? I think I did once. I think there was once a time where I cared about having them all the right way. Now, when I do it, I almost want to deliberately do it the wrong way. As I'm one for loving kits, the uh, <laughs> what started out earlier today as the drone kit is no longer the drone kit because I found I had a um, one of those like uh, what's the what's the I had a craft right um, pelican type case uh, and it didn't match any of the others so I've decided to use that as the drone case because I dare say I'm never going to take a drone to an EP sci-fi event. So it was better to keep cases that click together reserved for that than than the drone. Which I thought was a very mature decision. And it also meant that there was another another case going around. Oh, oh I've got a pattern. Ooh. Maybe I'll maybe I'll keep the pattern going, but it'll just annoy people that the all the resistors are not the same way, but that's okay. Well I like the pattern. I could this could be my maths problem for the week. Continue my pattern. There we go. Oh that's much nicer. Okay. The good thing is when you do this. They'll probably push through a bit now. I can't actually see. Yeah, I can feel they push through, so I'll just... Um... I know apparently you're not meant to do this, but... This is one of the few things I remember from my dad trying to teach me how to solder. He's doing that. Uh, solder, there it is. Okay. So this is... This is the 2.5 four millimeter chisel tip at 380 degrees. Ooh. 
And then after the, the stream, I'm going to go back inside and continue panicking about school reports. As it's that time of year. Oh, oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, 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 that's gone wrong. Oh, I didn't like that at all. Ah! Come on. Clear off. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Maybe this iron is a bit hot. Or maybe I'm just using way too much solder. Or maybe I'm not feeding it in correctly. I don't know. Or all of the above. I don't think it's bridged out. It just sort of made a very ugly looking mound. But it's okay. They're, it looks like they're all sort of they're on there it's one of the things that you just get better by doing it so a little kit like this that's probably going to buzz or not going to do anything because I think the battery holder broke well there you go, it's I'm getting better at solving like that. 470s. Should I check these are 470? Why not? Let's do that. Hello, anyone else that's watching. I know there's three people now. I probably know all of you. Sorry, no Billy tonight. He is under blankets, under the heater. Yep, 470. The um, resolution on this, even though it's auto-ranging, for me as a novice, probably makes me feel cleverer than I really am um, because I need to know, obviously, that 470 ohm and 0.472K are the same. So it lets me feel smarter. How many are there? One... Yeah. I've got fat fingers, so I'll use a probe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's going to be all of them. Luckily, I've got loads of extras if I stuff these up. I do have plenty of 470s. Must be a, a common value. Ohms, ohms, some meditation. Never feel sorry that you missed the start of the stream either. When I'm watching Big Clive, I usually turn it on at the start and fall asleep until about two thirds of the way through. Unless an impromptu one happens when I'm at work and it's a Friday. Which has happened once or twice. Just realize I'm holding that out of the way of the camera. Sorry. I'm not used to everything being. In view. Is it in view now? Ah! Crap. Bollocks.
Should I use the Australian solder for this or should I go with the super cheap auto? With the Bogan solder. Just the cheapest solder I could find. See, now I'm starting to think, oh, do I want to keep the pattern going or do I want to just... Maybe now I do want to line them up. The funny thing is, people at work say say things like, "Oh, Bav, you know, you know all about <laughs> about soldering and electronics." No, I don't. I know so little. Hi, Bobby. Nice to see you again. Sorry that the the stream's on at a slightly different time. It's um, and sorry that Billy's not here. Billy's snoozing in the house. I tried to convince him to come out. He didn't want to. I didn't even get an eyebrow raise from him tonight. I just, I think the problem is he got clipped in the week. He got groomed and he's very, he's got very short fur right now. So he's really appreciating his time under the heater. And I guess on the ground in the shed is just a bit too cool for him. Not, I don't know whether he's sentient to make the, you know, well, he is sentient, but I don't know whether he factors that in when I, when I say, come on, let's go outside, that he just doesn't, doesn't respond. Now, you know what's happened? I almost need to put this one in the other way around now, because I don't know whether you can see it, but if you can see what's happened, I've actually put them all the same. <laughs> so I don't know when, oh, do I keep going or is it? Is it just too perfect and I have to screw it up? I don't know. We'll see. I don't even, I haven't looked at which way this one's facing. So we'll see. Oh, it's the same way up as the others. There you go. Purely by accident. There we go. All right. It works so much better when you make the noise. Like the, uh, like the level in Binky only works when it makes the noise. If it doesn't make the noise, does it mean it's not working? I've, I've actually, oh no, I've got one. So, I, oh, I had lost one. Have I lost one? I, I had one pushed the other way. Okay. Might start with these two down, down the bottom. Now, Super G Bordo was the... Oh, it's not too cold here. It's, I think I said, I think I droned on about it last week. It's just that stage of early spring where the days are quite warm, but the nights are pretty chilly. I'm, I'm only in one layer of jumper tonight, whereas previous, like the first streams I did, I had two jumpers, a heated jacket and a beanie. Um, now it's, it's not too bad, but I think my hot water is no longer hot. Sort of cold bath temperature. All right, let's see how the super cheap auto solder goes. By far the cheapest solder. Well, I shouldn't say that. That was free. <laughs> By far the cheapest that I bought when I couldn't find my nice stuff. And I, I mean, to be fair, my nice stuff was only J car stuff, but. Clean off, damn it. There we go. All right. Do the hot code. Oh, I don't know. It's not really. Come on. It doesn't really want to conduct much heat there. Maybe I just didn't have good contact. Whew. That seemed like really hard work. Is it cold where you are, Bobby? Thank you. 
this it's this is not I don't know. I my initial thoughts about this solder were that it was a bit um shite. And I was then convinced of of the contrary that no, no, it's fine, it's just the iron needs to be hot enough. I am starting to think that my initial thoughts are probably correct because this is I don't think it's flowing as easily as the others. But then again, my solder joints do look nicer this time around. So, oh, it's a bit warm there. Well, that's all right. I hope. Are you are you headed into the cold season? or Not that I'm trying to, you know, sort of uh, geolocate you, Bobby. But if you're, if you're liking the cold weather, I hope it's on its way for you soon. I'm not a fan of of cold cold but it's going to it's about it's going to get stupidly hot in the summer so and wet so it's you know a mild summer here still consists of some 40 degree days uh even during a, a la nina see it's just not nah it's you know, I don't know whether it's just the, the flux isn't flowing or what. So I think I've got pretty good contact there and it's just not. It just seems inconsistent. I'm, I'm just going to swap to the Weller for a second. I'm just, I want to satisfy that, is it me, is it the iron? Oh, well, there you go. I hope it, I hope you enjoy your cool, I, I liked having a cool Christmas. I did a cool Christmas one year uh, when I traveled over overseas to see some family and I really enjoyed it. It was the first time I'd ever experienced a sort of cold uh, winter Christmas, and uh, I really enjoyed it because it kind of felt Christmassy to me. Because I, even though as a kid, you know, growing up in in Australia, Christmas is always really hot. But every time you see things uh, in movies and on on the telly about Christmas, it's always snowing and cold, and you know, it gets dark really early. And so it was nice to be able to experience that. Um, then again, the getting dark at three in the afternoon was <laughs> was a strange thing too, because it's three in the afternoon and we went to what was I? Oh, London Zoo. I went to London Zoo and it was uh, 2.30 and they said, oh, you're really not going to get your money's worth. And I thought, well, it's only just after lunch. What do you mean? And they said, oh, well, I'll, you know, we'll close up shop. Uh, because all the animals were going to go to sleep. All right. Here is some Vela. Maybe it is just me. Maybe it's just my technique. Uh, I think it's my technique. You know, maybe I'm I'm obviously not that experienced a solder to be able to be a solderer to be able to be critical of people's solder. I'd like to I'd like an American Christmas. i I'd like to go and try that. As well as if uh, you know in the if you go, to, if I went to the USA, I would want to go in the winterish time anyway, because the NBA would be would be playing. I'd love to go and see an NBA game. I probably wouldn't even complain about which team I went to see. That just flows better. So I don't know whether it's the thickness of the Weller and the rubbishness of that, or my technique, or this is just sort of ideally matched to my ability or lack thereof. But that seems to work a bit better. And one thing I, I noticed that Big Clive does is he clips them off. He clips off the solder joints so they're flat. I always grew up thinking, you know, watching my dad solder when he, when he was fixing 
electrical things that solder joints had to be sharp so it took the skin off the back of your hand but apparently it doesn't that really rocked my world i always figured that's just the way it had to be but apparently that's a byproduct of the way that things were manufactured that things were in a bath or something and they you know had sort of sold it in a way but i guess now with surface mount components people uh, things are just sort of set on a board and they go through some kind of oven you know or they're just you know blasted with lots of hot air something like that i don't know these solder joints with the other solder look shinier than the super cheap auto stuff so maybe it's um maybe it's a lack of flux maybe there's no flux given it might be fucking awful well yeah there, that's why it was one star review solder when i bought it um although in tidying up the bench tonight in tidying up if my wife is watching i love you i found my good stuff i found my duratech um but i don't know I kind of I kind of want to go with this and, and see what it's like. This is slightly thicker though. This is 0.9 millimeters and that's uh, 0.71. So you know, but uh, then again, that is twice the thickness of the stuff that I'm used to working with. Well, oh, there we go. All right. Um, have I missed any resistors? There's some diodes. I'm gonna get some diodes on there. Oh. Now, <laughs> I have three diodes, and there are three spots for diodes. So I'm going to guess. <laughs> I don't have a circuit diagram for this. Oh, and there's a capacitor there. Oh, that's a that'll be like a film-type capacitor, though. Electrolytics, that's okay. Um, a diode test on here, don't I? Can you use your meters to do this kind of thing? Maybe. Let's check. look the same oh hello there's tiny numbers on them hold on i get my magnifiers come here move down arm of destruction oh where's is the light turned on i bet the light's not even plugged in um come here the lighting This little light of mine. I'm gonna wish I plugged it in. Ah, come on! Really? Oh, I'm gonna have to rummage through the bench to try and find the end of this cable. It's a USB. It's. I think it's this. Is that the one? No, that's not it. It's a different USB. Sorry, I just realised I'm really close to the microphone. It's not that one. Is it? It goes under here, and then it comes out of there, and then it goes, that's not it either. I think it's this one. Let's see. Um, Okay, it's not that one. So if it's not that one, and it's not that one, then I don't know which one it would be. <laughs> I really thought it was that one. I said it was. But I believe it was wrong. What is that one? Oh, it's because that's not turned on. Ha ha! Yeah! Lights! 
Yeah, but the thing about the reviews on uh, Super Cheap Auto is that the, the reviewers might just be as skilled as me and they might not know whether it's really crap or not. Uh, doesn't really say, oh 148 well yeah this this looks like it says 148 on it so i'll go with that i will just drink some more of my warm bath water Is that does that qualify me to to make the judgment because i've tried soldering with it but i'm not very good at soldering but you know it just seemed to not work as well as the other stuff maybe three diodes and according to dave from ev blog i'm committing a mortal sin by not having an anti-static map this is just a a um silicon mat from a dog feeder oh uh stripe take note of the stripe james i'm guessing aussie matt the stripe goes where the stripe in the picture is because i'm an idiot and i'm gonna guess that that's right so I'm going to follow, I'm going to make, put the stripe on the diode where the stripe in the picture is. And if you're watching and you're nowhere near the keyboard, I do kind of like the idea that you're scrambling to the keyboard now. Oh, yes. That's all right. That's good. And by stripe, I just mean this big black line on the end of it. So uh, that one will go ZV. Aha. And then I'm hopefully at the stage now where I can sort of put together the first part of the um, the Jaws vacuum build video because I'm almost at a stage where enough has happened to it. I don't want it to turn into my Project Dalek log where there's just so much navel gazing. I want it to be, hey, here's here's what I've done this week, you know. That would be ideal. Ah. I'm also secretly wondering. I'm, I've always said I'm not going to talk too much about work. I am wondering whether I'm going to get lots and lots of relief lessons this week because some of my students are away at camp. And... I often get relief lessons on days that I don't have a full teaching load, but that's part of being a teacher in Australia in a high school setting. Oh, oh it did that thing. It's just sort of dragging. Ew. I might just sort of try that again. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Because it's too near. How many points have I melt the holder for my circuit board? Ten points for melting. There we go. Did I melt it? Oh, I didn't. Is that? No, oh, it is a. It's a little peak. Sorry if my head's in shot. I think the the drone is um 
it's going to be good for, for practicing flying, but I don't know if I'm ever going to get video out of it because there are people saying, you, you need the SD card. Um, and other people saying, no, no, it's just the app. But no matter what I do, I can't seem to get it to connect to the app. So I think it's just going to be 8550, 8550, 8550. What's the next sort of low profile? Is it maybe the ceramic capacitors? Three thirty picofarad, hundred and four. They look like they might be pretty low profile. Maybe the crystal. Maybe the oscillator. Is it, is it an oscillator? Is a socket or a chip? Oh God! There's it's some kind of timer or something. It's some kind of clock. It's a different clock. Matt, don't be thinking, why isn't he making my clock? I, I, I thought this was like a buzzer or something. Yeah, part of this battery holder's fallen out in the bag. Great. Um, I think maybe... Oh, that that's a... I'm going to learn to regret that mistake, aren't I? Live to regret that. I think the crystal... Does the crystal have a polarity? Uh, if it does, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the print the same way the print is on the board. And uh, then if I'm wrong, well, 44, oh yeah, there's the 30s. So the 30s are quite titchy. And there's the 104s. Is there only one 104? Now, as far as I know, well, there's like a, it's like a jumper or something there. I don't know where I'm to put them. I wonder if this, oh wow, even that pin, that pin spacing is actually correct. That's good. Um, there's a button. Oh no, the button's legs are all bent. It looks like it's fallen down the stairs. That's the rest of that holder. Um, All right, so the 104, okay. I'm going to put some of these ceramic. Are they ceramic? I think they're ceramic. Uh, that's a 104. And I believe it just sort of... It just sits like that. Those are electrolytics. Um, oh, nice. Oh, so there's a couple of diodes to go there. Okay. That's well, 8550. Okay. Right. Oh, they're uh, LEDs. There must be LEDs there. I am... Um, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Lots of navel gazing. I do apologise. So that... has got to be... the holder. that sort of springs it down there right well that's probably the last to go on um uh, is that the only 104 so there's one two 30 picofarad i think if i made merch it would say something like uh i don't know is it it could be maybe All those merch ideas that I keep having. <laughs> Hello to no, you know the first bit of 
Oh, no polarity on the crystal. I'll just put it up the same way. Um, I, to be fair, the first bit of merch I, I put out would have to be hello to the three people watching. <laughs> or like, where's Billy? All right, 30 and the other 30. And it's actually looking like you're not meant to bend those, so I'll just give up on that idea and just sort of go for it. All righty. I wish I could put music on, but copyright. I'd be copyright stricken. That'd be stricken annoying. Bit of solder. Maybe it's I'm just not giving it enough time. Ooh, flicked off. Maybe I I don't give it enough time between joints to for the iron to heat up properly. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Or maybe it's just not having a really good connection. Or am I putting the, am I touching the solder to the right spot? You know, that's the meter probably telling me that I've taken too long and it's wants to turn off, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off since the new guy asked for a break. Uh, oh, they're hot. Hot. Who'd have thought that something you've just, you know, flooded molten metal onto would be hot. An outrage. I suppose the test will be if the thing works. And the good thing is, hopefully, if it doesn't work, it'll let the smoke out. I mean, that's if you want. If it's not going to work, you want it to not work in spectacular fashion, don't you? Especially to. Oh God, it's been going on over an hour. <laughs> Matt's thinking. Just finish it. <laughs> Hurry up! We want to go to bed. What's another low-profile component? Oh, I oh look. I, all right, should I put on the diodes? I really hate diodes. I really do. And I've got a link. I haven't got a bit of wire to make a link. Do I just get a? A leg off of something? Go just make one? Do I need the link? I don't know. Jeez, I'm sounding like Jerry Seinfeld. Do I even need the link? What's the deal with links? That is an, an S8550. So that one has to go in there. And you're going to splay the legs. As if that ever helps. There's no diode leg splayer. And my finger hurts from today. It's a world of complaining from me. Right. One. Don't fall out. Don't be a diode. That is also an 8550. Splaying legs. Oh, I should probably have started over there. Get in there. I could I could keep the stream going to um to the, the conclusion of this and then I wouldn't have to go and panic about reports. I see an upside to both. 
Uh, 85.50. You could sing. What What could I sing? I, I could sing lots of things. I, but I remember my Drama Centre audition, I was told I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. To be fair, I probably should have prepared much more for my Drama Centre audition than I did. Because the amount of preparation I did was, well, less than the amount of preparation Scott Morrison did for being Prime Minister. And it actually came as quite a surprise to me when the person said, sing. And I picked a very tone deaf song. Thinking, well, at least it's a song. And it's a song that no one else had thought to sing. S8550. Oh, that is far too splayed, that is. Get in there. There we go. And uh, S8550. I'm doing well with these. Should probably actually splay them. I need mild splaying. You know, the funny thing is, I, did I mention that last week that I'm I'm having to teach sewing, and uh, in the sewing class because we don't have a fabric shop here, um, I went to the op shop and bought curtains and bed sheets, and the class are making tote bags from them, and of course because they're curtains and bed sheets, I'm now being called Julie Andrews. Um, Except without being, you know, chased by Nazis. On another, another sort of weird note, I, I was looking at the channels. That, like I put out on my videos that these are not made for children, right? Because the, aside from them being boring, I just yeah I don't think. But, you know, I, I never thought I'd turn into a prude, right? And, yeah, they are so... Soldering diodes is my favourite thing. But anyway, I... Bending and forming and cutting off solder. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> I was looking at some of the channels that my son has been watching, uh, and one of them... Now, bad parent alert, because I had let him watch it because I was not vigilant. The other thing that, yeah, it's not me going, oh, my God, YouTube, how do you allow it? But who would say, like, their kids dressed up as Nazis um, and pretending to shoot people uh, is, like, a kid-friendly thing? Because it made it through to YouTube for kids, and his account is set up as a kid. So that was a bit weird. I mean, I know that he, he sometimes liked the sort of rubbish, um, you know, crafting type stuff, but that really weirded me out. Why is this not heating up? Heat up! There we go. All right. Let it recover, James. Don't get cross. Ow! And that's in a burnt myself way, not a James Brown. You know, I feel good. Ow. Cat from Red Dwarf. I'm looking good. Hold on. Yeah, I'm still looking good.
burning my fingers and swearing profusely. I think I'd have to say one of my favorite things would be like making making kits from expensive toolboxes. I found a I found a guy um I don't know what to make of his channel. It's called the Spirited Man. Um and he's kind of I thought he was kind of like an adventure oh that's bridged. Oh god that's more bridged. That's so bridged it could be a full bridge rectifier. Is that Oh god, it's even more. It's worse. Ah. Maybe I'll just cut that. I'll cut it and I'll unbridge it. So bridged, it could be Bridget Jones's diary. I had a year 11 relief lesson this week and uh, I taught some of the kids maybe when they were in year three and they were, the ones that wanted to do the relief lesson were busy doing that. The ones that didn't want to do the relief lesson were busying themselves talking about the NBA um, and they were clearly watching old NBA clips and they couldn't remember some famous play that happened. And I said, oh, if you think that's impressive, you should see, blur, you know, name, name a famous NBA player doing famous thing. And that kind of blew them away that I knew it. Um, I was an NBA fact ninja for a little while there. I've screwed up my solder and now I must fix it. I've got my old sucker. Ooh, look at that. Big blob of solder out of there. Did I fix it? Oh, yeah, I fixed it. Okay. I have fixed that now. better yeah not pretty but they are they're connected and these are definitely shinier than the joints with the super cheap auto solder so i don't know if that really i mean there is a marked difference between them and i just wonder whether that's down to the amount of flux or the consistency um of the mix I don't know. I don't know. All right. Those six diodes are there. So let's find the other one. A 78L05. And all the diode fans are going, oh, a 78L05. Haven't seen one of those for years. Huh, bugger me. It's the first one I picked up. <laughs> oh, and it's right near the holder again. As much as I don't like breathing in solar fumes, it's starting to get cool in here. But I want to see this through. I want to. I want to at least get to the stage that it's maybe nearly able to get some power from something. Somehow it's going to get between five and twelve volts. I'm sure I can find something 
with five or twelve volts of electrons. Why has it got a twenty thirty? Oh, I suppose it's memory. think one of the things I probably do is I probably take away the soldering iron too soon and I think you need to leave it there so it forms that nice pool around the component okay um, now I gotta remember polarity for. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah. Well, that's um, it is quite close. I, I don't know what the. Uh, where is it? It's it's here. It's in the middle. So yeah, it's coming from those diodes, and don't diodes, um, those little diodes, they, they, they're like a, a direct current through a circuit, don't they? They can only go one, the current can only go one way. So it's coming through there and being regulated to five volts. And I'm guessing these resistors are probably something to do with, with limiting the voltage for for the display maybe um obviously the oscillator is what's giving you the the timing of the thing and i guess everything's being controlled by the the chip there and uh, maybe i should put on the uh the socket that's quite a low profile component but i mean there's not a lot of capacitors and things around it but if you start getting tall things and then you put them put other things in the way it can get tricky so uh the notch is that way so let's get that off oh it's so many legs oh what now don't tell me it's got a bent leg oh, of course there's always one bent back your basket there's always one leg that doesn't want to do it the rest do what's happening now that one's still um something to gently persuade it back <laughs> 3d printers are a little bit musical i could swear this one's trying to play the muppets theme Hey, there we go. Now, I can't bend the leads on this, so I guess I have to tack. I have to find a way to tack a corner in, which is going to get blooming hot. Watch me. Watch me now. What's new, soldier joint? Whoa. Tactical, huh? Tactical tack. It's through there. Okay. Jesus, that's hot! I'm sorry if you're religious. I just don't really like... Yeah, so it's a, well, yeah, if it's a 12 megahertz thing, I know on a computer motherboard, the crystal oscillator is usually double what the speed of the system is going to be. So, so I'm, if I want to upgrade my 286 to be 25 megahertz, I need to find uh, a 50 megahertz crystal. Okay. 
All right, now it's time. Yeah, I can just, I can hear it playing the Muppet thing. Don't bridge these joints. This is where some thin solder might be better. I'm going to try. Oh, this is maybe where Dave from EV Blog is right about use the thinnest solder that you can. Oh, there's a roll of it down there. I might just grab that in a second. Sometimes it's just a bit of reflowing of a joint does wonders. No, it makes me think that I just take away the iron a bit too soon. I'm also aware that this is a plastic component and I don't want to melt it. Which is probably why I should be doing a couple of these legs and then going away and doing another thing. But I am horribly impatient. As anyone that knows me can attest. So even I'm actually, I don't even understand how I've managed to go uh, since yesterday and not go and pick up that computer. But I, I'm trying to be disciplined because I know if I got the computer, I would not be doing any schoolwork tonight. I'd be busy playing. Plus, I need to order the um, the video signal thingamajiggy. Oh, God. <laughs> that looks like a thing from Day of the Tentacle. Can I sort of cut the peak off that one a bit? Still shinier than the super cheap solder. All right, I'm I'm feeling better about this. Um, LEDs. Short leg is the negative because no is long leg is the negative because it's long and a minus is long. A tiny LEDs too. Although I can do, I kind of do diode check on this thing. Should be able to just tell me if I've got it around the right way, I think. And if you do it, put it in um, diode mode. Where's my, um, where's my clip leads? And I'll check it. Ah! That's all right. I'm still here. Um, clip leads. Or are they? No, that's the rubbish meter leads. That's no good. Oh, the clip leads are actually on the good meter. That's why. That's why I couldn't find them. Oh, I've got a capacitance meter. Just doesn't measure them in circuit, which I I was like, no, I don't want an ESR. And then, yeah, I probably should have bought an ESR. There you go. Uh, that one and that one. Now, if I've got this right, I think the diode should light if I've got them around the right way. So, I'm going to test my hypothesis. Troubles when you have hypothesis 
hypotheses, and both could be correct. Oh, right. So it's not. <laughs> it's not. Uh, long leg is negative. It's short leg is negative because it's a bad thing to cut off your leg. All right. For anyone else that wanted to know my my reasoning, there is I. Th I for some reason I thought long leg. Probably also could have looked at a capacitor that actually has the short leg where the stripe is. Yes. I'm thinking of that name too, and it does end with head. Oh, I was worried that I put these too low down on the board. Is there such a thing as too low down on the board? We'll find out. I might just pick them back up. But the thing is, if you if I pick them back up and they're not all level, all the OCDs would be going, they're not level, they're not all the same height. But if I shove them all down onto the board, they are going to be, aren't they? Is that all? There's a spare one. Is there another one that's meant to go somewhere? Should probably also think about putting on the um the display that'll be fun all right then again maybe this um maybe these little little spraggy bits maybe they're they're probably there as a guide for hey this is where they should sit on the board like, they should go, you know, board height or something. I was saying before, we weren't really, like, royal watches. They were just news. Hey, they were just that's that's what was on i remember the day princess diana died because we my dad took me i think to the adelaide show and uh it was we were on our way back and i think it was like a father-son you know bonding trip And we we're in the Maya Center. And it was on every TV screen. You know, back when they had these sort of like, well, back back in the CRT age, anyway. It was just everywhere. And got home. You know, my dad, you know, used to do that drive. You know, he'd leave it. I think we left at seven o'clock at night. We got home at about midnight. It was all right. Day off. Day off school the next day. But yeah, it was um, it was everywhere. Much like I remember September when September 11th happened, and somebody said, you know, someone's drove uh, flown an airplane into the twin towers. I thought they might have meant like a little, I don't know, Cessna or something. Not, not a jumbo jet. And it was just on for weeks, wasn't it? Like, there was nothing else on the telly other than coverage of, of Ground Zero. And I don't know how many times, that, you know, I had to, we had to watch the replays of, of the, the crash. It was horrible. All right. Maybe the switch. I'm guessing the switch goes this way because it's wider. It is wider than it is Lungi in Italiano. I nearly I don't know. I'm hearing that I'm hearing the three D printer seeing the Muppet thing. <laughs> Oh, 
Will I cut the leg off this thing because I can't find my tweezers? Nope. Might have got it. Nope. Uh, no. Ah, oh, no, that's gone wrong. Come on. Play along nicely. All right, try again. barely going through here. I've got a something to straighten the pins. This is overkill, isn't it? Vote now if you will find out the point that James really regretted his action. Let's see. Thing. It's too much messing about with them, and they. I regret nothing. switch still clicks that's a good sign all right display I guess because that looks like it's going to be a uh, sort of tricky job if it doesn't go in right so oh hang on there's a sp I've got it upside down. Ha ha ha. Did you see it? You see, I've got the dots at the top, the dots down the bottom. Nearly caught myself. Will this be built in under two hours? I'm pretty sure Big Clive did one better than this in while answering questions and talking. And he did it in, you know, like 40 minutes. I'll just. The soldering is tiresome. Still three people there. Well done. And Bobby, I'm so jealous that you get um Lowe's and, and the home well I think I think the pronunciation over there is Home Depot, but we'd say Home Depot here. We have um I think our equivalent of Lowe's was a shop called masters and it went it went under but then our i think it's um tools wise i think ryobi is available from home depot in in the states and in australia it's only available from a place called bunnings um and it's owned by um the west farmers group Is it wrong that I, I would like to go shopping in America? 
I'd also like to visit Costco in Adelaide, but you know, that did not take it all. Did I just? Oh, there we go. That's transferred now. Yep. Maybe it's um. I mean, they claim the super cheap auto solder is two percent uh, flux. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's. Or maybe it is 2%, but there's actually a lot more flux in, uh, in the other stuff. I mean, you would think in, uh, if it's going to be automotive type solder, that it would be critical for the, for the joints to work. Can I... Just do a hearing the Muppet theme. I'm trying to do the the big Clive solder holder. Yep. Take the other one down. Then maybe I'll do the last one because it's plastic and a small area. Maybe I'll do this one and then I'll try and solder them both. I'm also not a fan of um, people having a, a dig at pronunciation in, in America. I mean, I, I have done it myself. Uh, especially in regard to solder. Um, but I don't know, it just seems low hanging fruit to me. You know? I think, particularly the solder one, it comes down to, well, a lot of it came down to uh, like TV. Home shopping type adverts, um, where I mean, a lot of the media that's consumed in in, in Australia, uh, some of it is produced here, but a lot of it's produced in the USA uh, and in the UK. Um, that we kind of had a golden age of. TV and film production, but it has kind of gone. Now, I was going to solder some on one and then some on the other, and I've just gone ahead and soldered all of them on one. Because I'm a fool. What if I sort of go top to bottom? Would that be a good thing? Try and evenly distribute some heat. But, you know, if these, these are looking shinier, these definitely look dull in comparison. So I just wonder if it's the flux that's doing that, that it's just cleaning more. Um, and it's probably going to be, a, you know, a joint that's less likely to... You know, they always say if you've the solder, I'm sure they... Well, I don't know if they always say it. I have heard that if the solder joint's dim... It's a sign of, of a bad joint. Just some caps to go. And then finding a way to power it. And then I had another USB cord that I can hack up. I'll find something. In fact, I know I've got a, um, I've probably got, ow, safety squints on. Ah. Ow. 
Oh, it got me in the face. Um, okay, capacitors. Uh, 25 volt, 220 microfarad. Uh, 10 mic, 25, 10. Polarity around the right way, Jim. Um, another 2510. That way around. Another 10, so this is another 2510. Is that all the caps? What what diode did I have left? I had a spare. I bet it's an 8550. Yes, it is. Spare 8550, some spare. Ceramic caps, no spare electrolytics. I have the utmost of confidence in me to install these. Uh, the stripes around the right way. Stripe, yes. Stripe, yes. Stripe, yes. Okay. I don't know whether it's that this solder is better. Or am I just more used to, to working with it too? You know, am I better at using a Mac or am I just more used to it? I suppose it's like driving your own car. You're not necessarily a better driver in it. You're just used to operating it. Trim the, the legs on that diode, that solder joint is horrid. Horrid, I say. Now, yeah, do I have a battery that I can put in for backup? I didn't think that far ahead. My haphazard stream. Okay, what's left? Oh, no, that jumper. I'm going to put a link in somewhere. I'm going to have that as a jumper. And the voltage input. Okay, so we'll, that's simple enough. I'll just put that one in there and I'll tack that and do it. Oh, it's a snug fit. All right, so I'll just quickly... The, the two for the battery and there's two links what do I do with the links <sighs> no, I don't have my lumen tweezers
Um, what? Aha! Uh -huh. Bodge wire. I don't even know if I need these links, but we're going to find out. You didn't give me any. So I got to make them. This is solid stranded wire. No, it's not, no, it's not stranded, is it? It's just solid. Yes, it's a, it is a very good pickup. Boom, boom. Well done, sir. All right. Let's try my um, Patricia the Strippers. So I did not know that that was a song. And if anyone else doesn't know it's a song, well, that didn't work. <laughs> I have to uh, is Patricia the stripper? Um, but Patricia the stripper was. Where's my other wire strippers? That might work. Ah. Nope. Nope. You can see my butt. I'm really sorry. Nope. Nope. Where are they? Oh, standing up. These might be um, slightly less, slightly less um, monstrous. Yeah, they're a bit, a bit more genteel. This is the long one. I can go another. it is but it's blooming small oh look at that aha where's the rest of it gone i'll do that one and i'll do is this one in green be okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. 
at all. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Most appetizing. I thought my soldering iron was too cold. 380 degrees is really hot. Just the button cell holder to go. Remember, kids, if it fails dismally, you were here watching it. You can watch the, the horror unfold. There we go. Do I have a 2032 to put in there? I don't know. This is also going to get bloody hot in a second. Yeah, that's really hot. Okay. It's together. Oh, chip. Chip, chip. Um, there's the notch. Please don't have bent pins. Ah, oh, you. You monster. They're everywhere. to start those ones and then lovingly shove these ones down until they look like they're going to fit. No, no, they're not because they're going Probably the moment where the project dies through static, and I've just discharged it all through here. But there we go. Turn it around.
It's in. Okay. Um, battery. Ah, oh, it's only a 2025. Will it do? Doubtful. So 2032 in there? Nope. Try. All right. It's together. Oh, just under two hours. Can I power it? Well, maybe. I do have a bench top power supply. That's a thing, right? Should we do that? I shall turn off the soldering iron. Put away my good and my rubbish solder. And my borrowed solder. And my new solder. Alright. Um, unless I've got something here... Really, anything jumping here? I don't have any double A um, holders right now. If I had a USB link, that would be great. Well, I don't think I have one. But, um, what do I have? I've got stuff. I've got so much stuff that if I can't power this, really, I have no business considering myself any kind of tinkerer. Oh, that's USB-C. Probably shouldn't hack that up. Should I? Alright, but I do have... A bench top supply. So that will be okay. And I've got some other bits. Can I do it in the next minute and a half? Probably not, but we'll try. We'll try. Okay. Let's uh bit of urgency. Never hurt anyone, did it? Um bit of wire. Yep, fantastic. Uh, there's a bit. There's a bit. Alright. Let's uh, strip the wire. Strip that wire. That's already done. All right, those strips, um, some banana plugs somewhere. Uh, oh, hang on. That's them there. <laughs> Need those. Can be a little meter. All right. Banana plugs. Uh, positive. Non-positive. Unplug that. Try not to unplug the computer at the same time. That's that one. And turn that off from there, though. Isolate yourself, Jimmy. I think this was previously set for about 5 volts, so... But I'll turn it down to bugger all vo volts to... Um, Try and get it going. Um, a little thing, a little driver. Bugger. I'm get undone by not having a little fucking screwdriver here. Because um, I think that's. My god, that actually fits. Uh, grind. Put that one in grind.
Come on. Twist. Oh, it's two hours and one minute. No, oh, will we get there? Just people are all going, we just want to go to bed. This is the point of the early stream was that this wouldn't happen. What can I say? Just having one more look at my good lord look at those horrible joints but nothing looks bridged okay uh, turn that brown upside frown Okay, uh, energizing. I'll just sort of, I'll move the camera down in case we catch the smoke. Turn everything down. All right, I'm going to turn up the voltage. A bit of current. Hey! I don't know what it's meant to do, but it's powered. All the things are lighting up. Is that that even that LED is lighting up? It's just not very bright. Well, it lit up. Um, I wonder whether those links are actually necessary. Zero, 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 zero. I think this was meant to be a, a timer or something, like a countdown timer. This doesn't feel like it's doing much. I may have killed the chip. Maybe I'll, I'll turn it off. Or maybe I'll switch back to front. Currently at 5.17 volts, drawing 140 milliamps, but it's it powered on. It's still it's still Illuminati. The um, LEDs aren't really. There's nine volts. I'm just wondering whether if it's five to twelve. It's eleven point three. I don't feel that getting warm at all. I think I might have cooked the chip. Oh well. It works, sort of. It turned on and I practiced lots of soldering. So <sighs> I'm going to say that's it. So from me and not Billy, because he is already in the house asleep, I will say good night to everyone. Good night. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. Uh, remember, streams are at 
nine thirty Australian Central Time. So yeah, there you go. A thing was made. Thanks, everyone, and I'll do the awkward clicky-off thing now.